hi all welcome back so today in this video we are going to see how to store the milestone data into the database so as you can see here this is one of the interfaces that I have created here let's say job application is the sample application first step is that applicant will enter their own details so I have filled the details here John email and phone other fields can also be there if I click on next button then this particular section will go away and a next section is there which is asking for the educational details so here I have taken like a, which is the degree and when the applicant has graduated so that grad year is there okay we can go back as well and check the data if I go here in the third step then third step becomes my submit button and here I have taken an irritable grid okay so to add the skills for the applicants what are the different skills for the applicant okay so how to store this kind of data into the database so that we are trying to uh, see here so if you see the basic you know like uh, interface part is clear I have just taken simple applicant table here which is having name email and phone one table I have taken for the education okay and education will have degree and grad year but it should also have for which applicant this education is so that applicant ID is very important in that table similarly I have taken a skill table where the skills name are written and which applicant this skill is related to that is there okay so these three tables you can also create in order to replicate the same thing so here if you see I have taken normal three sections here just to you know like to show the a uh, to show like different interfaces in one only I've created all the different three sections and one edit table grid and this per first section it will display only when my step ID is one and that step ID I will get from here okay so when I'm clicking on back so if you see here the step ID has reduced to two if I click on next it will again go back to three so like this uh, with the help of that I'm controlling so all these uh, uh, sections has a show when condition like this one here okay one two and three if I take an example like how does this you know like milestones uh, relations work among each other so that for that one example I have taken here you can see for example John is an applicant okay and now he has applic education details bachelor where he has graduated that we can add it here okay and then this John will have multiple skills as well so I have taken a skill table so in that how the data will look like let's say he has Java he knows Appian so applicant ID is one and he only knows one so one will directly be referred to the applicant ID here okay and similarly in the education as well applicant ID will refer the this applicant ID that we have created okay so applicant to education is one to many okay that also we can make one to that is also one to many only and applicant to skill is also one to many relationships so we need to see like how to you know like store that data into the database okay so I hope it was clear about the description what is our huge case and now let's try to uh, go and try to create the process model for that okay so I've taken the user input task here first of all what I need to do here is that see first of all we need the IDPK remember that in the other tables all are dependent on just IDPK only their applicant ID so first of all the data which will enter in the database is the applicant data then we can like education and skills doesn't matter because these are two independent with each other there is no education ID in this table so any way we can write it so once we have understood this now let's try to see in our process so in the process I have already taken a user input task okay created all the variables make sure whatever the variables that are there in this uh, interface the same thing we used we have to create in our process as well process variable so all those variables we have created now this cancel button also I mapped it now what now first of all which table we have to write the data so we have seen that applicant ID is very very important so first of all the data has to go in the applicant table so what I will do here is that I will write here okay write records okay so, and now we will take lens as well lens you know like makes it easy for us to map the data okay so this is nothing but our form and this data like here we will write into applicant so this lens we will utilize for writing in the applicants two more lens we will need it here this one is for the education one and this is for the skills part okay and it will be easy to understand as well okay so what we will do here is that first of all I will take it here okay and K 
he click on this one here and write record so it will be write to applicant writing to applicant is straightforward because we don't need anything here okay click on this rule input applicant and that's it okay now once the data is finally written into the applicants we need to write the data into the education as well so let me just copy here and paste it one more time i will paste it here first of all this will be about write to education okay and the third point is going to be uh, this skills okay so write to write to skills so this is going to be my write to skill so once the data is completely written into this table only then only it should go and connect to the end node that's it so we can take an end event here as well okay so let's take an end event here okay so now everything is set here okay now the problem is that if i just write the education then the applicant id won't get stored here correct we have to make sure the applicant id goes into the education details as well and in the skills table also it should go so what we have to do here is make sure to take the output in the data output and if we take the output then whatever the data that has you know like stored here for the applicant it will go and store it here once i will get the you know like uh, the app applicant data so now i have got here that applicant id here it will give the output and now in the education detail what i have to do here is that eh? so when i am trying to write into the education detail then we can up update our education detail see this you know like this new record has this feature like you can write expressions as well so okay update function is very very important for updating the id it asks like what data you need to update as it is i need to update the education it asks like what is the index that you need to update so if i go in education dot applicant id i need to update and then what is the value of the applicant id the value of the applicant id will be coming from my applicant id pk that's all i need to update so once this data is updated okay and then here obviously we have to choose like it should go and store in the education it will directly store in the education detail that's it nothing else we have to do that for this purpose here okay next thing is skills now see skill is a bit tricky to you know like uh, write it here what we will do here is that instead of directly adding it here we will take an script task and we will set the data for it set data now how to set the data see skill here is multiple entities okay so if it was just one row for one row i can directly write, write update but for multiple rows how can i do the update here because the, let's say five sometime five row will come sometime 10 row will come okay so for that purpose what we will do here is that we have to loop the update multiple times okay so we have to take here a bank for each let's say like uh, some more data are coming into the skills table okay and in the expression what we will do now we will take here update function okay concept is still still the same the data that you need to update is nothing but uh, fv bank item because now the data is in our fv bank item okay and the indexes that we need to update is nothing but uh, skill dot applicant id okay applicant id fk okay and the value with which we want to update all of them is nothing but uh, this one uh, applicant id pk that's it so this is what we need to do and once it is done so we will try to save in the skills table and that's it so our data is also set there all these values we can check that here okay that's it and let's me at least try to like enable the activity chaining okay till applicant because appli till applicant is very important okay now let's just validate publish this now we will try to see like how does it look like okay uh, how the data looks like we will open our database as well so this is my applicant uh, table here and this is the skill table and this is the education table now what we will do let's try to debug this process and check that all the data are coming as it is or not so let's go in the forms table once and then first is going to be let's say like smith okay j 
and then smith at the rate email.com I have taken some phone number I have taken for him click on next button it will go to next let's say like he has done bachelor's degree okay and the graduation year was 2022 click on next and now let's multiple skills so uh, Smith knows about Java okay maybe react uh, okay Java Java is script and let's say appian as well so what I have done here is that if you see all this data I have filled it here and it is ready to get submitted okay click on next next okay and click on submit button once I have clicked on submit button if you see applicant is getting written educational detail has written here and finally the skill table also everything got written into the same sequence here okay if we check our process variables everything has been written down so what we will see first of all let's see the applicant in our database click on refresh and see at id2 smith got written great now the next here is that educational detail idpk by default has taken two okay and the last is the skill table so four skills we have got and all those skills belong to applicant id2 so this is how we used to write the milestone data or multiple one to many data you can say in the table okay the basic concept is going to be same if you need to update a single entity okay you can directly go and use the update function simple like this one just update but let's say like if multiple entities are there that you need to update then at that time you need to do here loop and then you need to update the multiple entities concept is same like you can update the data and but you have to use it inside a loop here okay so I hope it was clear okay so that was all for now thank you